So I'm uh, at SES Toronto 2012 and I'm with Bryson Munier, from, uh, who's the Director of SEO Strategy at Resolution Media. And we've just come out of the Information Architecture panel and Bryson had some very interesting things to say, so I wanted to talk to him. But um, so Google have recently come out with their kind of more official point of view about uh, designing for the mobile web and they're pushing responsive design. But um, it's not necessarily a one-size-fits-all strategy, and you had a sort of more nuanced approach. Could you tell us about it? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, you're absolutely right. It's not a, a one-size-fits-all approach. I think responsive design can be great for a lot of businesses, uh, but Google also allows for the use of mobile URLs, and they still allow you to consolidate all of that link equity with those mobile URLs. So you, you have to, they gave you guidelines on how to, um, you know, build your pages in such a way regardless of whether you use responsive design or mobile URLs so, so that you can consolidate the, that link equity with the canonical URL and an, an alternate uh, link on the desktop site. So, um, so that's the difference between dedicated sites and responsive sites. And um, so some categories might have different needs. Can you talk about some, what site, uh, types of businesses might need a dedicated site rather than a responsive site? Yeah, for sure. So, you know, we uh, looked at 25,000 different queries uh, based on the Google AdWords keyword tool and based on uh, Google Insights for Search for upper funnel queries. And what we, look, we looked at the mobile and the desktop volume and then the mobile percent of the total volume to get a better sense of, you know, uh, are these people looking for different things on mobile devices than they are on desktop uh, computers and laptops. So what we found was that, you know, for certain categories, uh, there is different mobile search behavior, and because of this different mobile search behavior, you might need different content that would address that search behavior, and therefore it you know, wouldn't make as much sense to build that responsive site. So responsive uh, web design would still be great, that one URL for sites like you know, real estate or like apparel, things where, you know, unless it's a local business, the search volume is not going to be that different on desktop devices than it is on uh, mobile devices, smartphones specifically. But for things like uh, dining and nightlife, where, you know, 99% of the queries uh, for bars comes from mobile devices, and 77% of the, the query volume for restaurants comes from mobile devices, you know, it, it's really important to think about how these people are going to, uh, you know, look for you differently on smartphones than on desktops because you know for for categories like that and for retail uh, they really are looking differently they're looking mainly for locations and hours uh, and you really don't need everything you know from your desktop website yeah and so and that's kind of the crux of the issue is that um, when you use responsive design uh, on a de on a traditional desktop product you might be make mobile optimizing too many pages for the mobile web when actually some users are looking for a more pared down experience. Right. So, you know, uh, one of the things that um, Brian Fling talks about in, in his book, Mobile Design and Development, uh, it's an O'Reilly book, is, you know, he's really talking about the mobile information architecture and that the mobile information architecture, you know, shouldn't be any more than like five actions. Otherwise, you know, you're, you're really uh, trying, you're really confusing people who are trying to get somewhere quickly, generally, right? Yeah. There are some people, of course, who like to experience all the content and you should have that link to the full site. But if we're talking about mobile specific information architecture and making it as easy as possible for people to get where they need to be, uh, on smartphones, you know, we really want to limit those actions. Um, and if you have a responsive site, you, you might be using the same, I mean, it uses the same uh, information architecture as your desktop site, which, um, you know, is often uh, many levels and, and sometimes too confusing for someone who, you know, just wants to find what they're looking for now, right? So uh, as webmasters, as SEOs, we can really help by, you know, figuring out what our mobile user needs by using that keyword research through the Google AdWords keyword tool, uh, and then you know, deciding whether or not that need is uh, specific to the smartphone users or whether it's something that you know, like everybody is concerned with. You know? Yeah, and, um, and actually, on that note, I mean, this debate about whether to do responsive design or dedicated mobile sites is still that shouldn't deter people from going into mobile and tackling mobile in general, should it? Uh, and you, you made a very good point about um, 
one in seven searches uh, is equivalent to you. Now, can you, can you expand about this one in seven searches concept? So Google said a year ago, it was like May of last year, that one in every seven searches is mobile in nature. So what this means essentially for business owners is that you know, if they don't have a mobile site, uh, whether that would be responsive or you know, uh, a, a dedicated mobile site, they don't have something for mobile searches, it's like closing their business one out of every seven days, right? So if people are comfortable with that, then you know they shouldn't. They really should ignore. Continue to ignore mobile. But we found that most of our clients really aren't comfortable with that. That they want to take advantage of that traffic, because you know this this mobile traffic is also highly engaged. You know, uh, and if you it's there's enough of it, and that there's one in every seven searches. But they're also more likely to to click. Uh, and you know if um, lead generation, uh, if it, it can enhance. Um, uh, it can get you closer to your goals regardless of you know, what kind of business you are. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Bryson, thank you very much. Um, My pleasure. And yes, yeah, there you have it. So if you're not optimizing for mobile on some level, you're essentially closing your business for one day a week. I think that's the brilliant uh, visualization. Yeah. And Google, uh, you can thank Google for that one, but <laughs> they're, they're really good about pushing the mobile user experience and you know, that stands with their, um, their responsive design recommendation as well. You know? uh, but giving us guidelines on how to do that is, is really you know, what it's all about because uh, the people aren't getting any less mobile. Yeah. Thanks a lot.